Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time for more Gakko in Heaven 2. I'm Rahana. Um, sorry I missed last week. We had some uh, cat issues, some unexpected vet bills, so I was kind of in a cranky mood and didn't feel like recording anything. But I'm back, so I'm going to continue working through the script. Again, we're on Adata's route, and today we're going to start with June 3rd. So last time was June 2nd, where Yuki chooses his Bell One partner. And attempted to choose Arata. Arata refused and offered to help him find someone else. So right now we don't have Arata as our partner, but we're going to uh, kind of work on that and see what we can do. <clears throat> also, sorry, I'm not using my pop screen again today, so hopefully it still sounds okay. Um, I had a comment saying it sounded fine, and I just don't feel like moving everything to the other table so I can record stuff today, since I'm kind of busy. But anyway, we're continuing. This is the very beginning of June 3rd, and this is actually a really long day. <sighs> so I'm not really sure how many videos it's going to take to get through this particular day because it's actually really long, and this beginning section is the shortest part. Here we have Yuki's cute yawn. I didn't sleep well last night, and I woke up so early. Maybe I am panicking. <laughs> A partner, who should I ask? And um, you can't see it, but maybe a bit of an interface spoiler for someone who's like, wow, is Arata going to accept? The top of the screen always says the character route that you're on, and instead of saying common route or whatever, or just the date, it does say Minase route, so yeah, we are on his route already, and he won't refuse. There's um, other characters where before they actually officially accept, it won't show, but it um, so for the purposes of, of this, you know that this is going to work out okay. So, because I was spoiled, now you're spoiled. Arata-san! Ohayou, Ace-kun! Morning, Ace-kun. Ohayou gozaimasu! Neko no toilet soji, mou shite tan desu ne. Good morning, you already cleaned the litter box. Hmm. Kyou mo arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you again today. Huh? Yada na. Ore yuwareru hodo no koto jya nai yo. It's nothing you have to thank me for. More importantly, You're up early this morning. Well, I just kind of woke up. I thought maybe if I walked outside, I could put my thoughts in order. Your thoughts, huh? Right. A partner, what should you do? After all, it's Arata-san. I've been thinking the whole time since last night, but I can't think of anyone else. I want to believe it's intuition that I thought of Arata-san. But my reason is just because, so I can't ask him. I want to give him a proper reason, but I can't really think of one. This is hard. Yeah. Hey, I suddenly realized last night, if this place ends up closing, the cats wouldn't have anywhere to live. Oh. Oh. That's right. I don't want that. Me either. Honestly,私は、ただ廃校にしますって言われたら、しょうがないって思ってたんだけど。Honestly, when we were told the school's closing, I just thought it couldn't be helped. Uh, I thought, what a shame. Does that mean you accept it? Well, closing the school is a big deal, isn't it? So I thought there must be reasons for it. Well, that may be true, but... For example, like they ran out of funds. Out of funds? And they can't keep running the school. But in that case, we can pay tuition. Pay? We'll pay it. If I remember correctly, this place is tuition free. It was written in the pamphlet, right? 
鈴菱の企業に就職して3年以上働かないなら学費を後から支払う決まりだって。And this is kind of interesting, a little bit of information about the school. It seems kind of inconsistent, and I'm not really sure how it's enforced, if at all. It definitely wasn't mentioned anywhere in the first game. It said that the rule is after graduating, you're hired by the Suzubishi Corporation, and if you don't work for them for at least three years, you have to pay back the tuition later. Also, worth noting that high school in Japan is not free, even public school, it has to be paid for, there's expenses. Um, not just expenses, but also tuition for the school. So,、um, most people do continue on to high school, but in some circumstances, say if there's a family that can't afford it, it's possible that some kids will just stop at middle school because high school is not mandatory.、Um, but anyway, here, this, this little tidbit about the Suzubishi company it seems kind of weird to me. Like, what do they do for people who. Don't, don't fit into a corporate structure. Like, what about the athletes? Someone like、uh, Yagami, who is a concert musician. Like, what happens with those sorts of people? How, how do they do it? I guess it's some sort of corporate sponsorship sort of thing, or, you know, they、um, promote the company by wearing stuff with their logo or whatever. I'm not really sure how that works out for every single student. So, it almost seems to me like this is something they just kind of stuffed in here and didn't think through very well because I don't know, it just, it's just really strange. Like, I, I get it, and I understand that the whole purpose of the school is to kind of be a succession thing for Suzubishi Company to pick up new talent and things like that. But in that case, why aren't there more students going to the school?、Uh, I think I've mentioned it before, but. The first game makes it seem like there's only 150 students total at the school, which means only 50 in each class, each of the three years. So that's only 50 new graduates per year. And if we assume about half of them are athletes, then only half of them are going directly into Suzubishi companies to do things like research or、um, just general business type work. So I don't know. I think that struggle between spending more money on the school and getting a return on the investment, I think at this point they've got too many,、um, too much money invested for too few students. I think if they brought in more students, it, they would be able to spread out the costs more and get more benefit from the school. So I think the, the current boards and even the past boards. Decision to keep enrollment low on purpose to save money is actually hurting the company. But I could talk about stupid business decisions all day. I, I worked in corporate offices and saw stupid things happen all the time.、Um, but that's a rant for a different day. Anyway, yeah, so Yuki saying that the students would have to work for Suzubishi for three years. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm not sure what I'm s スズビシと全然関係ないところで働くこともあるかもしれない。We don't know what will happen in the future, but it's possible we may work at places completely unrelated to Suzubishi. だったら今払っても先に払うんだって思えばいいだけです。Then if we pay it now, we should just think of it as the same as paying later. でもそれみんなも OK するかな But I wonder if everyone would be OK with that. えこの学園の生徒全員だよ。All the students of the school? どこの親だって学費免除はありがたいって思ったと思う。I imagine any parent feels grateful for the school being tuition free. もしかしたら高校に行けないくらい貧乏でここだから進学できたって人もいるかも。It's possible that there's people here who are so poor they couldn't advance to high school, so they're only able to continue their education because it's here. それは。And I guess that is just not something that would occur to someone like Yuki, where things have always gone well for him. If it wasn't free, everyone might say they're going to a different school. So, this is it. That's right. Arata san's right. Everyone has their own family circumstances. Ah, uso, uso. Ima no nashi. Oh, no, no. Forget about that. Ano, Arata san? 冗談冗談そんな真剣に悩むところじゃないよ。Just kidding, just kidding. You don't have to worry about it so seriously. はい。エース君
マッチメイスクンユーサーシリアスベルワンで勝てば廃校なしなんだよお金がないからってないない If you win the Bell One, the school won't close, right? So it can't be because there's no money. Oh. So, ka. So, this, yo, ne. I see, you're right. Majime ni kangae te, erai, erai. Thinking about it so seriously, good boy. Ace kun ra shi yo. That's Ace kun like. Ra shi te. Demo, so, this, yo, ne. Ha ha. Yo kata. An shin s h i m a s h t But you're right. I'm glad. I feel relieved. Mm hmm. だいたい勝手だよねいきなり廃校を言い出してかと思えば切羽詰まってもなさそうだし And just as you go through this conversation you get the sense that even though Arata sounds kind of derpy and doesn't seem like he knows what's going on he's pretty smart and he's pretty perceptive about what's going on here because it's true if you think about it it doesn't make sense that the school is going to be closed and then oh but if, if you win this arbitrary contest it'll be fine Like, who makes decisions like that? So I'm sure not just Arata, but some of the other students are wondering what the heck is going on here? What's the real reason behind this? We already know the real reason behind this if、uh, you've watched previous Let's Plays. And this one, this story will not go into the details of that.、Uh, the Bell one kind of takes a back seat to Arata's actual story here. So if you're looking for the, the actual story of the game and. The main plot and all the things that kind of add up to it, I would suggest checking out some of the other playlists first. But if you like Arata, of course, please stay here and we will go through his information together. It doesn't hurt to not know the full story, but if you are curious, I just want you to know ahead of time that we won't go into it in any great detail here at all.、Um, so, Arata saying, it sure is arbitrary. They suddenly decided to. Or declared that they're going to close the school, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like they're under any pressure. It really is arbitrary. Because of that incident, there's a lot of students begging, saying that they don't want the school to close. But in the end, there are a lot of students b e g g But among them, there's also people who've started to look for their next, next destination, saying, if this place is closing. So, what is it? Really? Yeah, there's a lot in the swim club. So, what is it? That's not good. But that can't be helped. There's a lot of big tournaments coming up this summer. Even if you've practiced desperately, there's no point if you're not able to enter. So it seems like those students wouldn't be able to enter if they're not associated with a school at the time of the contest. And all their effort up till now will go down the drain. So, it's like. This place has a lot of top class competitors. And that's why other schools are already saying you have to come here. It's amazing. Below the surface, there's already competition starting. So, this is it. You're right. After all, the students of BL school are all in demand. And just think about that how much that would be for a school that's maybe not as、uh, high level as this school to get one or two of the students from here. They would instantly be the top person at that school. And of course, would probably go on to win competitions and things like that and, and bring a lot of prestige to the school. So it makes sense that、uh, especially the athletic students would be. By other schools, if there was a rumor that something was happening here. Hmm. But the cats. If this place closes, they'll end up losing their place to live. But 
There are things like pet adoption sites, so it's possible I might find owners for all of them. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Still, they'll end up being chased out of the place they've always lived without understanding what's going on. Hi. So, this is it. Yeah, that's right. でもさエース君がベルワンに勝ったら今まで通りでしょだから勝ってほしいなあ、so、勝ってここを守ってほしいって思ってる I want you to win and protect this place. あなたさん、right. It's not just for me and all the students. It's for the teachers and Dora chan, Dr. Matsuoka, and the people on the staff that I don't know yet. And to protect all the cats that live here, too. Everyone's fate will change depending, depending on whether I win or lose. On my, or my, and the partner who's in it with me. Both of us. So. Yeah, that's a lot of responsibility for a kid in his age. If you really think about it, this is. Kind of a crazy proposition, what they're doing here. Oh, well, we're gonna close the school, but if you happen to win this contest, then we won't. Like, that's just really unfair. I don't know. Es kun? Gomen, gomen. Sorry, sorry. Hoi. Pressure かけるつもりじゃ全然なかったんだけど I really didn't mean to put pressure on you. そんな気にしないで。ごめんね。Don't worry about it, okay? Yeah. No, thanks to you, I'm all fired up. So, really? Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. Huh? It's already the warning bell, but I got up early. Well, we got kind of caught up in conversation. If we don't hurry, we're, we'll be late. Hi, it's a game show. Right, let's hurry. Mataka. And now we have a mysterious unknown person showing up here again.、Oh. And this is not someone we've met yet, I think. This character shows up more in Yagami's route, not so much here. He, he appears here a couple of times, I think. Maybe. I don't really remember. Maybe not. But has he appeared already? Man, I think he has.、Uh, okay, just ignore me. Ah, oh, hi, oh. Etto. Oh, good morning. And Arata doesn't remember his name. Oh, me, da, yo. And his name is Omi. Yeah, <laughs> so that ta. Go, men, go, men. Oh, me. Sorry, Omi. Sorry, Yori. Minase. Kimia mata henna koto steru no ka? Minase, are you doing something weird again? Henna koto? Weird. Kore? What, this? Ugh! Get it away from me. That's cat poop in that bag, isn't it? So, Dayo. That's right. Arata san wa neko no toile o soji ste tan desu. Arata san was cleaning the litter box. So, they were kimi no katte da keto sa. Well, that's your choice. Boku a nioi ni binkan nanda. Ksai mono mo chinagara, uro uro shinai de hoshiyo. But I'm sensitive to smells, so if you're carrying something stinky, don't hang around. Go men, go men. And he just leaves, and Arjo's like, why is Arjo apologizing to this kid? I have no idea. I don't like this kid, but I have biases from Yagami's root. He's annoying. Nanda yo, are. What the heck was that? なんか家が焼肉屋だから汚いのは許せないんだって。His family runs a yakiniku restaurant, so he can't stand dirty things, he says. だったら自分も掃除すればいいだろう。あなたさんは学園をきれいにしてくれてるのに。Now, our, no, 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 Yuki gets annoyed, and I kind of like that he gets a little fired up when people are rude. I appreciate that about him. That he should clean it himself. You're cleaning up the school, Arata san. まあまあ。気にしない気にしない。Now, now, don't worry about it. でも、But... じゃあ、着替えてくるから、またね。I'm gonna go get changed. See you later. はい。Right. <sighs> なんだよ、あれ
showing that yeah not just yuki is thinking really seriously about this but arata has been thinking a lot about the potential of the school closing and what that might mean to him um as well as other people who are at the school so interesting developments here um and we also get to understand a little bit more that arata may be more perceptive than he's letting other people know and he's also more diligent than he lets other people know by taking care of this cat litter and stuff. So, um, we're going to stop here because that's the end of this portion of the day and continue. Again, I don't know how many more videos it's going to take to finish up this day, but uh, we'll just get through it. So, thanks for watching. I hope that was enjoyable and I didn't ramble too much and I'll see you next time.